नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम व्यूअर्स यू आर वाचिंग द स्पेशल प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ सनसेट टीवी बिल्स एंड एक्स वेयर वी एनालाइज बिल्स दैट इंपैक्ट यू एक्स दैट एंपावर यू एंड प्रोग्राम्स दैट मैच टू यू आई एम योर होस्ट कृति मिश्रा एंड टुडे द स्पॉटलाइट इज ऑन द एक्ट दैट इंपैक्ट्स द ट्रांसजेंडर इन आवर कंट्री एंड वी टेक अ क्लोजर लुक टुडे ऑन द ट्रांसजेंडर पर्संस प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ राइट्स एक्ट बिफोर द डिटेल्ड एनालिसिस लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द हाइलाइट्स The act defines a transgender person as one whose gender does not match the gender assigned at birth. It includes trans men and trans women, persons with intersex variations and persons with socio-cultural identities such as Kinner and Hijra. Every transgender person shall have a right to reside and be included in his household. No government or private entity can discriminate against a transgender person in employment matters including recruitment and promotion. Well in 2014 the Supreme Court of India in the case of National Legal Services Authority versus Union of India established the foundation for the rights for transgender persons in India by recognizing transgender as a third gender. In the same year a private members bill was introduced in parliament which was subsequently passed by the upper house of parliament a rare feat in itself since historically not many private member bills have progressed this far however while the private members bill was still pending in 2016 the government drafted and tabled its version of the bill in parliament which was referred to a standing committee of parliament for further suggestions it was passed subsequently by parliament of india with the transgender persons act having come into effect it is important to understand the key features of the law what are the hits and what are the misses and what's the impact on the employers and the employees especially in the private sector and to discuss the impact of this very important act i'm joined by a very illustrious panel of guests joining us in the studio mr tiruchi siva mp rajya sabha he represents the dmk mr surendra singh additional secretary ministry of department of social justice and empowerment shani soni miss trans queen india 2020 and rina rai founder miss trans queen india and also deepa ardhaneshwar empowerment foundation I welcome all of you on Sansa TV and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Mr. Siva. I have to begin the show with you. Sir, it was after 45 years. It was a historic moment that private member bills that was taken so seriously by the government that the government brought in its own version. I'd like to understand that what prompted you to get this bill? <clears throat> First of all, <clears throat> I belong to the DMK party which is um, basically a social reformation party. the core uh, principle of the party is social justice and women empowerment and of course the transgenders also come under the same category and i have to be very precise uh, because this is a tv show this is a very long story uh, i was brought up by a widow mother who became a widow at the age of 29 and uh, i was taught with having concern about those who are not cared by the society and moreover the party which also i joined later uh, the periyar anna and kalinger who are all architects of social justice have infused into me that uh, we should fight for those who are sidelined marginalized and suppressed people and so to say tamil nadu was the first government to constitute a, uh, a board for the welfare of the transgenders and they also renamed their Uh, what they were called in various names which were indignity uh, causing indignity but we uh, christened them as tirunangai uh, it's a very uh, respectable word and later uh, on two or three occasions i have raised the same issue on the floor of the house on various uh, rules and motions so i thought uh, when i have to do something for the transgender community a larger community in this country across the world of course but uh, we our limit is the jurisdiction is only india so i thought i should do something uh, for the transgenders across the country um, only way out uh, i can put a question i can get a reply i can write a letter i can get a reply mm-hmm. or i can raise the issue on the floor of the house it will be heard but no response so we have another went that is the private member bill yes and uh, so i chose the path i very meticulously drafted my bill and it was very well welcomed and appreciated by the transgender community i yes. just consulted many of them i also attended many of their meetings which they used to convene 
and I came to know about the woes and grievances they come across, how they are being insulted by the society, right. how they are, don't have access even to hotels or public toilets or anything, how they are not given employment, though they are very much qualified, they are not getting proper education and even if they are educated, they are not getting employment. So I thought I should find a way out within my pass. So I thought uh, that private member bill would have a result. And I should say the word which we don't normally use, fortunate enough. The bill came up for discussion. Yes. And the bill was uh, very much elaborately discussed. Uh, so to say, uh, I think some more than 25 members participated. And uh, you know the history. First it was put to uh, voice vote. When they negated, I asked for a division. And actually that day there was more support for them. Yes. But uh, the leader of the house intervened and that said that uh, such a sensitive bill need not be debated and disputed so that even if it is passed, the government will cut a sorry face. So he said, let us put it again to voice vote and it was unanimously passed and it came to even uh, many came to realize that it was after 45 years in the yes. history of the parliament yes. that the private member bill was passed. The core things which my bill suggested, I should say, I think this is the right time. Right. Number one, uh, reservations for them, 2% in education and employment. Mm -hmm. Because education alone will uplift any person. These people, the transgender, we see across the uh, uh, roads in the signals, begging and, uh, and being uh, treated by people in various other means. If at all they are educated, they will be treated. And then employment. So, right. reservation in both education and employment. Yeah, a commission for them, like that of the Women's Commission or a CST Commission. And uh, many other things I suggested, but I think the government bill didn't carry any of those things. Just passed a bill which has become an act, and it's only up to the transgender community to say whether they are happy with that. But as far as my knowledge goes, whenever I happen to interact with uh, them like Saini or Reena or many other uh, um, transgenders uh, who are very active in uplifting the community, I think they are not satisfied with the present act which uh, doesn't serve the purpose of them. And basically, they need a reservation. That I, I have no other uh, thought about it, not, not even a second thought. All right, thank you so much, sir, for putting those uh, very important points forth. But Mr. Singh, I'd like to understand, uh, we know that the Supreme Court of India also asked to come up with a policy framework, for, particularly for accommodation for the transgender community. As far as this particular act is concerned, what's the latest on that front? What is the ministry doing? He First time, the act has been passed. So, first time in history, the transgender persons has been de defined yes. and acknowledged, and they are at par with other city, uh, citizens also. So, first time, the definition means self-perceived definition of any individual. That is the uh, exact uh, definition. So, there is no proof or no evidence has to be shown. Hmm. So, that is a uh, the definition is, is there. Provisions for welfare, for their identity, issue of identity card, protection at workplace. No individual or institution can uh, discriminate mm -hmm. for employment, for health care, for education, for that meant any entertainment uh, uh, place. So now all transgender persons are at par with all, all citizens. So this is there and there is a provision in the act, there should be a uh, officer, a person designated who can, who will address the grievances of transgender persons working at a, it, in any, any establishment. So that is in place. Now the government has come out with a, a detailed and very comprehensive uh, plan for uh, welfare. They, we have come out with a uh, a scheme which is called a SMILE, in mm -hmm. that uh, for education, the scholarship provision is there, for their skill development provision is there, for their health, uh, recently uh, the health care measures, comprehensive health uh, care is been, uh, is been uh, provided and there is a provision, anybody who is, uh, who can register, who is transgender, transgender person, mm -hmm. they can take uh, up to 5 lakh of uh, 
or more uh, the health care facility is free for them right uh, so these are the welfare measures and there are 12 garima grahs uh, on pilot basis government has started so th their food shelter health care their uh, skill development needs are being catered Absolutely, sir. So those are the schemes, the welfare measures that the government is taking. But also, let's understand the impact. Shiny, off camera, we were talking. Uh, you told me something Absolutely. that I, I really that... wasn't happy hearing about. So tell me, what are the day-to-day -day challenges? Uh, okay, and... first of all, uh, sir, uh, congratulations to you. And I think it is a great effort that you've put. Uh, it has certainly brought India into uh, existence and it has glor glorified the existence of transgender community in our country. But then, uh, sir... Uh, I would say that all these uh, acts that has been uh, formed, uh, they are just on the papers. It has not been implemented effectively, and you know, and it is coming directly from the horse's mouth. I have been hunting house for past one month, and you know, uh, it is so uh, unfortunate to see people rejecting uh, of giving me a house on rent. Uh, of course, they would not come out and say that okay, you're a transgender person. I am not giving you the house. But they would very gently say no to it because they have the right to, you know, say no because they are landlords for that matter. But uh, I think it doesn't just stop there. I think uh, it is about uh, the centuries of society being practicing authority over this community. I think that has to be eradicated. That that right has to be snatched from uh, citizens. You know, just calling people uh, of the community citizens. Uh, won't make them the citizens unless the citizens stop practice, practicing that uh, authority over them. Exactly. So that is, I think, my point here. And, uh, you know, when you uh, b began the whole conversation, you, uh, you spoke about the misses, you know, in the act. I think one of the biggest miss in the act, which I personally feel, it, it, it comes from my personal experience of my life, what I've led so far. I think um, passing any act uh, would not really help unless we educate the society. Absolutely. about the existence of gender diversity. I think this is what I want. I went to represent India internationally re lately in Panama and where I spoke about bringing gender education as a part of school curriculum. I think it is very important for everybody to understand that you know, uh, existence, coexistence of gender has to be taught in school levels so that you know, it is uh, taken from there. Because uh, if you actually start going and educating you cannot really, uh, you know, mold structured minds. You know, people Absolutely. who have gone beyond a generation, they have already stubborn, concrete brains. But the ones who are, you know, in school, who, who are yet to develop their minds, I think it is very important for all of us to educate them rather than confining them into a bracket where just, which just defines male and female. I think that Absolutely. is very important. Again, a very valid point. But uh, Rina, before I take the questions from our audience, uh, how do you assess the impact of this act and the fact that she said that it is important to educate people. It's not only about the transgender community. It is about the citizens of India as a whole. It is about those who discriminate. Exactly. You know? So uh, when I did Miss Trans Queen India, I realized that uh, giving platform is not enough. I have to educate people ke मैं हिंदी में बात करना चाहूँगी क्योंकि यहाँ पे जितनी भी मेरी बहनें बैठी हैं मैं चाहती हूँ उन्हें समझ में आए कि हम क्या बातें कर रहे हैं तो मैं उन्हें बताना चाहूँगी कि इफ जब हम इस बारे में बात करते हैं कि डिस्क्रिमिनेशन नहीं होना चाहिए तो ट्रांसजेंडर कम्युनिटी अपने लिए बहुत कुछ कर रही है और वो एक दूसरे के लिए खड़े भी होते हैं लेकिन हम लोग जो डिस्क्रिमिनेट करते हैं हम कुछ नहीं कर रहे बट आई वांट टू थैंक सर तिरुचि सिपाही जी कि ये लाने के लिए इस बारे में बात करने के लिए बिकॉज आई थिंक डायलॉगिंग इज अ फर्स्ट step toward inclusion mm -hmm. and uh, when he got this bill or pass bhi hua hai bill or jab main pass hua tha bill main tab bhi yahan aayi thi us bare mein baat karne aur yahan pe maine yahi kaha tha ki pehla step hai dheere dheere shayad cheeze change hongi bilkul theek baat hai but abhi bhi bahut sari cheeze hain jo bill ke andar hain wo abhi tak uh, implement nahi hui hai. Ji, ji. I am on my personal uh, uh, you know level doing gender sensitization since three years. My schools, colleges, university, residency, corporates, sab jaga jaka gender sensitization karti hu. And believe me, waha jo impact aata hai na, 
और लोगों को लोगों से जो फीडबैक आता है कि यस ये नीडेड है और वही चीज जो गवर्नमेंट बोल रही है कि एजुकेट करना है सब कुछ आप सब कुछ ले आएंगे लेकिन अगर इंक्लूजन ही नहीं होगा आपके साथ वाला आपको एक्सेप्ट ही नहीं कर रहा तो फिर उस किसी भी बिल और किसी भी आयोजन क्या फायदा है बिल्कुल आपने बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण बात की मिस्टर सिंह आपसे समझना चाहूंगी जैसा कि हमारे पैनलिस्ट भी बोल रहे हैं कि एक्ट बन गई लेकिन उसका इफेक्टिव इम्प्लीमेंटेशन जो है वो बहुत जरूरी है ये निश्चित रूप से एक चुनौती है एक्ट बनना बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि उसका इम्प्लीमेंटेशन बिना यदि आप ट्रांसजेंडर पर्सन के राइट को एक्नोलेज नहीं करेंगे उनको उनको लीगल राइट नहीं होंगे तो उनको प्रोटेक्ट करना और उनको आ, आ, लोगों तक पहुंचाना मुश्किल है आज पहली बार कम से कम ये हुआ है कि सभी ट्रांसजेंडर पर्सन के राइट को कानून के द्वारा बिल्कुल रिकग्नाइज किया गया है प्रोटेक्शन दिया गया है हाँ ये बात ये चुनौती है क्योंकि ये ऐसी कुरूतियाँ जिनके जिनको मिटाने के लिए कानून बने हैं वो ये एक सामाजिक कुरूति है जिसको दूर करने के लिए व्यापक जन अभियान चेतना लोगों में जागरूकता जैसा कहा जैसे कि अभी ये कोई भी ट्रांसजेंडर पर्सन यदि किसी भी संस्था या किसी स्थान पर यदि उनको भेदभाव होता है तो उसके उसका प्रावधान है कि यदि कोई भेदभाव करता है तो उसके अगेंस्ट में कानूनी कार्रवाई हो सकती है उसको छः महीने से दो साल तक की सजा हो सकती है तो ये कानूनी प्रावधान दिया गया है लेकिन लोगों को इसकी जानकारी होना और लोगों को ये जानकारी देना ये एक चुनौती है और सरकार इस दिशा में बहुत काम कर रही है क्योंकि एक स्कीम भी चलाई है राज्य सरकारों को भी इसकी इसको शामिल किया गया है उनके माध्यम से भी बिल्कुल सर इसकी जानकारी बढ़ाना उस पर बहुत ज्यादा जोर है सरकार का अब हम कुछ सवाल लेते हैं हमारे ऑडियंस से प्लीज अपना परिचय दें और अपना सवाल पूछें थैंक यू सो मच बना हुआ नहीं था तब तो हमारे पास कुछ भी नहीं था बना है लेकिन अभी भी बहुत सारी चीजें ऐसी है जो हमारे पास नहीं है मैं रामकली मैंने अभी अप्लाई किया है हाईकोर्ट के अंदर दो बच्चे अडोप्ट करने के लिए वहां पर साफ मना कर दिया कि ट्रांस के लिए कोई नहीं है आप अडोप्ट नहीं कर सकते देन उसी तरीके से आप सबसे पहले जो मैंने अभी बोला कि मैं एक लड़की हूं तो मुझे एक पार्टनर की भी जरूरत है अगर मैं अपने पार्टनर के साथ रहती हूं कल के दिन को मेरा पार्टनर मुझे छोड़ के जाता तो मैं कौन से कानून का दरवाजा खटखटाऊंगी right, कौन सी सरकार so, के पास जाऊंगी इनफैक्ट मिस्टर शिवा ऑल्सो लेट्स टेक इन हिज परसपेक्टिव ऑल्सो सर व्हाट दे से इज दैट दे डू हैव एन एक्ट इन प्लेस राइट नाउ बट इट इज जस्ट द बिगिनिंग बिकॉज़ अगेन देयर आर इश्यूज ऑफ एडॉप्शन मैरिज एंड आल्सो देयर लीगल राइट्स अदरवाइज बिगिनिंग वाज माय बिल Yes, sir. Beginning was actually Supreme Court judgment and followed by a legislation uh, from my side. And when the government wanted to bring a bill instead of my bill, it should have been much more comprehensive or much more uh, uh, contents which will be welcomed by the concerned stakeholders, the community. But it is not so. Actually, it lacks many things which my bill had also uh, already projected. so i think uh, not only on the part of implementation uh, it may be said comprehensive i said it is incomplete it has to serve the purpose this till now the com- community is not being recognized or not being respected they don't get their due share in anywhere means what is the uh, uh, meaning of having an act in place sir रामकली बहन की जो जो प्रश्न है उसका जवाब देना चाहता हूँ छः महीने से दो साल की जो सज़ा है ये उसके लिए है कि जो ट्रांसजेंडर पर्सन होने के नाम पर कोई डिस्क्रिमिनेट करता है लेकिन अन्यथा जो और कानून जो देश में कानून है स्त्री और पुरुष के लिए जो कानून हैं वो आप सबके लिए लागू हैं तो इसलिए आप उन कानूनों के तहत वही आप, 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 आप उनका लाभ उठा सकती हैं जो एक आम आदमी और आम औरत के लिए है वो कानून ट्रांसजेंडर पर्सन के लिए भी है ये दो छः महीने से और दो साल की जो सजा आप कह रहे हैं कम है ये इसलिए है कि कोई ये कह के कि ट्रांसजेंडर पर्सन है ऐसा कह के उसको यदि कोई डिस्क्रिमिनेट करता है उसके अगेंस्ट में सर गरिमा ग्रह में जो लोग रह रहे हैं जो लोग वहाँ पर एज ए शेल्टर होम वहाँ पर रह रहे हैं उनकी सिक्योरिटी का क्या क्योंकि एज बाई नॉलेज अभी रिसेंटली दो ऐसे इंसिडेंट हुए हैं जिस पर मुझे नहीं लगता कि किसी भी मिनिस्ट्री ने या फिर किसी भी ऐसे डिपार्टमेंट ने उस पर कोई एक्शन लिया जैसे कि अभी एक गरिमा ग्रह हमारा चल रहा है मित्र ट्रस्ट में जो कि डाबरी मोड़ पर एक गुड़गांव में चल रहा है सो दोनों में ही सेम सिचुएशंस हुई कि ट्रांसमेंस को उठाया गया और उनको मारा गया पुलिस के साथ पुलिस का द्रव्य व्यवहार रहा उनके साथ बहुत जब हम गरिमा ग्रह की बात करते हैं तो वो सिर्फ एडल्ट 
जो ट्रांस वुमेंस हैं ट्रांस मैंस हैं या फिर ट्रांस कम्युनिटी है उसके <coughs> लिए है जो बच्चे तेरह साल के होते हैं जिन्हें घर से बाहर निकाल दिया जाता दिल्कुल। है दिल्कुल। उनके लिए कोई प्रोटेक्शन नहीं है क्या उन्हें प्रोटेक्शन की जरूरत है आई मीन लाइक दैट इज द एज जहाँ पे जेंडर डाइसफोरिया बच्चे के अंदर समझ में आता है उसको यू नो दैट पर्सन इज गोइंग थ्रू लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स और सर ये तो एक बच्चा जो एक वॉर लड़ रहा है अपनी शरीर के साथ वो वो बच्चा एक समाज के साथ भी वॉर लड़ रहा है और उसके लिए समाज कौन है अपने माँ बाप अपने लोग अपने अपने दोस्त तो सर उनके लिए क्या यू नो रीना ने बहुत वैलिड पॉइंट रखा है कि गरिमा ग्रह में बोला उसमें रूल है कि एटीन ईयर्स अब को आप यू नो शेल्टर बच्चों का क्या और सिक्योरिटी का क्या दो दो तीन मुद्दे आए हैं जैसे अशरफ ने बताया कि वहाँ ऐसी घटनाएं होगी मैं यहाँ स्पष्ट करना चाहता हूँ कि ट्रांसजेंडर पर्सनस भी और नागरिकों की तरह ही हैं यदि ऐसी कुछ घटना हुई है उसकी सूचना और उसकी एफआईआर जो संबंधित थाना है उसमें दर्ज कराएं और कानून में जितने प्रावधान हैं वो उसके जो कार्रवाई कानूनी होगी वो उसमें होगी यदि कहीं ऐसे नहीं है उसकी जानकारी यदि मंत्रालय को भी मिलेगी मंत्रालय उस राज्य सरकार उस राज्य से बात करेगा जहाँ पर एक बच्चे ने अपनी जान दे दी और आ, आ, उसके खिलाफ हम जब हमने अप्लाई किया अभी तक कोई रिस्पॉन्स नहीं आया उनकी मदर यहाँ बैठी हैं आई थिंक आपने एक और बहुत वैलिड सवाल पूछा बच्चों के लिए तो गर्मा ग्रह में तो सर... जैसे मैंने कहा कि गर्मा ग्रह एक शुरुआत थी जिसमें बारह जो कमी ऑलरेडी जैसे बताया गया जो शुरू में जो कम्युनिटी बेस्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो चला रही थी उनको सरकार ने सपोर्ट किया है लेकिन जो इस्माइल स्कीम है उसके तहत हर राज्य में कम से कम एक ऐसा सेल्टर होम होगा जिसमें बच्चे किसी भी एज उसमें एज रेस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं है और उनको न केवल शिक्षा के लिए जैसे बच्चे मान लो आते हैं तो उनको शिक्षा के लिए भी उसमें प्रावधान किया गया है हमने सुना है कि हर क्वाटा में टू परसेंट रिजर्वेशन निकला है ट्रांसजेंडर्स के लिए चाहे वो गवर्नमेंट जॉब हो या फिर प्राइवेट सेक्टर हो बट ये जो है ये टू क्वार्टर रिजर्वेशन तो दे दिया है बट ये कहाँ पर है कहाँ नहीं है ये किसी को नहीं पता अगर उनको पुलिस ले जाती है तो कहा जाता है कि मर्दाना पुलिस उन्हें हाथ नहीं लगाती लेकिन उनको रात भर सेल्टर होम में अपने जेल में भी रखा जाता है उन्हें मारा भी जाता है पीटा भी जाता है जबकि उसमें कोई जनाना पुलिस नहीं होती और साथ ही उनके लिए कोई और अलग सेल्टर नहीं बना होता कि जिसमें उनको रखा जाए सो सर आई थिंक द पुलिस रिफॉर्म आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड पुलिस सेंसिटाइजेशन आई थिंक दैट इज ऑफ पैराउंड इम्पोर्टेंस मिस्टर सिवा इवन द पीपल so my bill again focused on fast track court those issues which are dealt with uh, trans and the people should be dealt with a fast track court that is exclusively for them just an act i think which doesn't serve the purpose till now they are in the same condition manya sansad aur aapke actually is aur jo aapne mudda uthaya tha iski isko spasht kar dete hain is tarah ke koi na act mein aisa pravdhan hai ki kisi committee ke samne jana hai act mein seedha sa pravdhan hai एज ए ट्रांसजेंडर एज ए इंडिविजुअल यू डिक्लेयर व्हाट आई एम वो ही जो सेल्फ परसीव्ड जेंडर फॉर दैट वी हैव मेड ए नेशनल पोर्टल ऑल्स आपकी जो बात है कि आपको पहचान नहीं है एक नेशनल पोर्टल भी बनाया है और यदि उसके नहीं है तो जिला अधिकारी के यहाँ सीधे आप आवेदन देंगे और वो एक फॉर्म है उस फॉर्म को भर के दे देंगे वो आपको तीस दिन के अंदर इन थर्टी डेज द कलेक्टर विल it's a it's a mandatory for collector to issue a certificate of transgender person if you will fill the the prescribed format and for that there is no committee though there is no inquiry nothing will be happen all right all right no scrutiny no scrutiny sir wahi transgender id ek transgender ne kya kehte hai police station mein dikhai thi unhone kaha ye to farzi hai ye to aap kahin se bhi banwa sakte ho to iska legal right kya hoga ki wo legal hai ye ki ha ji ye sarkar dwara hai to wo kuch to mr singh you have tough questions to answer definitely definitely this is an issue because the certificate issued by collector there is a provision the collector will issue a certificate if you will show somebody that it is a fake so somebody can respond or police work i know there is a lack of awareness among the yeah. police establishment also and there is no also. protection in the school also but, but if you have a genuine certificate you can claim jab ye bill pass hua tha usme ye kaha gaya tha कि अगर मान लो किसी सेक्टर में अगर 500 हंड्रेड काम कर रहे हैं तो उसमें 10 परसेंट ट्रांसजेंडर भी होगा लेकिन वो कहीं नहीं देखा जाता आई से कि आइडेंटिटी कार्ड जो होता है वोटर आईडी होता है आई हैव नो है होम मेरे पास घर नहीं है तो मैं उसको कैसे कर सकती हूँ मतलब घर तो है ही नहीं मेरा आधार कार्ड पैन कार्ड ये सब कैसे बनेगा अभी फिलहाल ही में मैंने अपना बच्चा खोया है 
और उसने सुसाइड किया था फिफ्टीन फ्लोर से एंड आई एम अ सिंगल पेरेंट बचपन से उसे अकेले पाला था चार महीने का था तब से मेरा डाइवोर्स हो गया था वो मेरे साथ रहता था कुछ भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं थी जिंदगी बहुत अच्छी चल रही थी वो बराबर का हो लग गया था सोलह साल का हो गया था सर उसने अभी आइडेंटिफाई करी अपनी सेक्शुअलिटी ही सेट कि मम्मा मुझे आई एम जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू एक्सप्लोर मैंने कहा करो मम्मा वॉज सपोर्टिंग ही वॉज पुटिंग नेल पेंट काजल टॉप्स इयर रिंग्स स्कूल हैज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड दैट एंड आई वॉज वर्किंग एज अ टीचर देयर आई एम अ टीचर बाय प्रोफेशन आई एम एन आर्टिस्ट मेरा बच्चा आर्टिस्ट पोइट कोई क्वालिटी बता दो मैं इतना इंटेलिजेंट शार्प माइंडेड बच्चा मेरी जिंदगी जिस पर निर्भर थी सर मैंने खो दिया उसको आज सात महीने हो गए उसको गए हुए सर द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इशूज आर देयर इफ सम इम्प्लीमेंटिंग एजेंसीज आर नॉट सेंसिटिव एनफ एंड दे आर नॉट एक्टिंग एज पर लॉ that is a serious issue so i just have last 60 seconds of the show i'll give you the closing remarks see i have one point to make that's why so many issues are still prevailing after the act has come into effect of course something has been legislated see in the process of passing a bill to become an act not only debating on the floor of the house i just moved a motion to send it to a select committee so that these stakeholders and any other interested person like these ngos could come and make their views and the bill could have been uh, in a very comprehensive manner addressing their issues we ahead now we ahead is the uh, bill i think implementing process and the police treatment and many other things are there i don't know whether they will draft rules or uh, look into the act or make it more vibrant it is up to the government act has been passed rules have been made all state government has also adopted the act with the uh, rules and one uh, clarification uh, the sister is asking about the reservation there is no such reservation yes. it is all rumors so please uh, make it clarif- make it clarify to everybody as such there is no reservation for transgender persons but as a individual as a individual citizen you can apply for any 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 job anywhere nobody can discriminate in the, in the country on the basis of your sex i think that so was a very important clarification yes sir otherwise mandatory that they should be given an employment or education no one will oblige not i all completely will. agree sir but i think that's a very important clarification that was given by addition secretary on the parliamentary channel of india but uh, we'll have to see how things shape up and of course as we've been saying repeatedly that at least the beginning has been made yes. Yes. on that note thank you so much for joining us viewers that's all i could pack for you in this edition keep watching sunset television thank you